plastic culture is a valuable tool for commercial vegetable production. While it may increase setup costs and labor, it makes up for this by increasing plant growth, productivity, and quality. Wheat growth, fruit rots, or blemishes are also reduced. What follows is a step-by-step -step installation guide. Before planting, have the field well tilled so that the soil is evenly consistent with no large clods or weed debris so as to form the best beds possible. Once tilled, planting beds are formed using a plastic mulch layer. Planting beds may be shaped several times before applying. While multiple passes are not common due to increased labor, it helps create firm beds and reduce soil depressions under the plastic. Make sure that the drip tape emitters are laid upwards towards the top of the bed to prevent clogging, and to firmly hold the plastic and drip tape, otherwise they may slip while laying. At the end of each bed, cut the plastic and securely tie any drip tape that will not be directly attached to the irrigation header lines. Hole punching and transplanting can be done by hand or with a water wheel setter with interchangeable punch wheels of different spacings, depending upon what is being planted. Since this is a cauliflower and Brussels sprout variety trial, 18 inch punch wheels are used with the transplants set by hand. Planting is best performed either in the morning or evening when humidity is highest and temperatures are cooler to reduce wilting. Be sure to keep the plants well watered and in a shady location beforehand and when not in use. The highest quality transplants are those which have filled their containers entirely with roots. Those with few roots rarely establish and produce well. When planting by hand, make the holes a little larger than the root ball, then set them deep enough to completely and firmly cover the root ball with soil. Begin watering during or immediately afterwards to reduce plant stress. It is best to have the irrigation system fully set up before the plants are in the ground. Numerous designs exist for irrigation systems. One of the simplest and most efficient is the use of blue lay flat with shut off valves and drip tape. Using lay flat cutters, create a hole in the lay flat located directly in front of where the drip tape emerges from the plastic bed. Make sure that a clean cut is produced, but avoid enlarging the hole as this can cause extensive leaks. With the insert end of the shutoff valve loosened, attach it to the lay flat, securely tighten it by rotating. Fully retract the nut at the other end and insert as much drip tape as possible, then securely tighten it. Doing so for both ends will minimize leaks. High water pressure is harmful to drip irrigation systems. 12 to 20 psi is the normal rating for drip tape. To prevent damage, a pressure regulator is required. While other designs exist, this system uses a fertilizer injector with a pressure regulating gate valve and gauge attached to the head of the lay flat. Once the irrigation system is turned on, water for a couple of hours or until the soil underneath the plastic is sufficiently wet. 
For more information on the topics discussed, please contact your county extension office.